After being cancelled in 2020, the Ballon d'Or is back, with the great and good of the football world again eyeing the biggest individual honor the game has to offer. The shortlist for the 2021 prize has now been announced, with 29 players joining 2019 winner Lionel Messi as contenders to claim the prize. So, by using the performances of the contenders so far, as well as predictions of what is likely still to come in 2021, who holds the most power in this year's race? Lotaro Martinez, Inter, Lotaro celebrated his Ballon d'Or nomination with a goal and an assist for Argentina in their World Cup qualifying win over Uruguay on Sunday, and while he will not be among the top contenders in this year's race, do not rule out the 24-year-old challenging for the prize. Over the next five or six years, Phil Foden, Manchester City, he may have missed the opening weeks of the season, but Foden has wasted little time in reminding everyone just how talented he is with his performances for club and country, not playing much of a role in the latter stages of Euro. 2020 all but ended his Ballon d'Or hopes, but it was good to see him make the 30-man shortlist. Mohamed Salah, Liverpool, while the first half of 2021 did not bring about many vintage Salah performances, the Egypt star is certainly making sure he leaves his mark on the year before. All is said and done. There is arguably no more informed player in Europe right now than the Liverpool forward, with his recent goal against Manchester City likely to give him a shot at winning a second Puskas award at some point. Salah's lack of trophies and disappointing showings at the start of the year mean he will not challenge for this year's Ballon d'Or, but carry this form into 2022 and he could be a real contender in 12 months' time. Neymar, Paris, Saint-Germain, given all the excitement that built around Neymar reuniting with his great friend Lionel Messi at PSG this year, the Brazil international has struggled to hit the ground running in 2021-22, contributing just a single goal, a penalty, in League One so far this term. Harry Kane. Tottenham. Kane's hangover from a summer of firing England to the Euro 2020 final and huge. Speculation over his future continues to hamper his game, with the Spurs star still yet to find the net in the Premier League this season. Mason Mount, Chelsea, Mount's importance to Chelsea was only highlighted by their struggles in his absence against Manchester City and Juventus, and given his trophy-winning exploits from last season, he is now well-placed to be the highest-ranked member of Gareth Southgate's squad in this year's Ballon d'Or list. Nicolo Barella, Inter. This might be a bit high for a player in Barella, who is almost universally underrated outside of keen Serie A fans, but the Inter midfielder continues to emerge as one of the best in his position anywhere in the world at San Siro. Though he was not able to help Ite add the Nations League title to their European Championship, the 24-year-old was on target in the Azuri's third-place playoff win over Belgium. Ruben Dias, Manchester City. It says a lot of Dias' rise that a signing that a whole host of informed onlookers were not so sure about recently captained Manchester City away at Chelsea, PSG and Liverpool. Clearly the Portugal international is as good a leader as he is a defender. Giorgio Chiellini, Juventus, Italy's inspirational leader at Euro 2020 may not always have been a starter for Juventus over the past 12 months, but expect plenty of Ballon d'Or voters to put stock into his performances over the summer when they have their say in the coming weeks. Gianluigi Donnarumma, Paris Saint-Germain, Donnarumma might not be starting every match for PSG at present, but his performance against Man City in the Champions League served as a reminder 
of just how close the Italy shotstopper is to emerging as the best goalkeeper in world football. Kevin De Bruyne, Manchester City. A goal and three assists in his last three games for club and country suggest De Bruyne is easing his way into the season nicely, though the Belgium star remains short of his absolute best as he aims to shake off the injury problems that have plagued him in the second half of 2021. Cristiano Ronaldo, Manchester United, goals against Qatar. In friendly matches are not what Ballon's door are made of, but they certainly help when you are looking to set an unassailable marker as the greatest men's international goalscorer of all. Time Erling Holland, Borussia Dortmund. Injuries have stalled Holland's progress after his hot start to the season, and Dortmund will hope that the Norwegian is not missing for too much longer as they aim to launch a title challenge in the Bundesliga. Romelu Lukaku, Chelsea, any lingering hopes? Lukaku had of winning the Ballon d'Or have now gone after his superb start to life back at Chelsea. Slowed in recent weeks and Belgium lost out in the semi-finals of the Nations League. That said, the striker has still enjoyed the best year of his career to date Kylian Mbappé, Paris. Saint-Germain, Mbappé reminded the world of the levels he can reach with his Nations League. Heroics, as the France star both scored and assisted in each of Les Blues' two wins on their way to lifting the trophy in Italy. Lifting that silverware, however, is unlikely to elevate him into true Ballon d'Or contention this year, but will set him up nicely to make a sustained run in 2022. Karim Benzema, Real Madrid, along with Salah. There is arguably not a more informed player in world football right now than Benzema, whose supreme curled finish in the Nations League final highlighted the confidence he is now playing with. A vocal minority continue to push his ballon door case, but despite ensuring he ends the year with a team trophy, individual honors look set to remain just out of reach. N'Golo Conte, Chelsea, Conte's injury problems are becoming something of a concern, with the France midfielder having been hampered by fitness issues ever since the Europa League final of 2019. When he is on the pitch, though, he remains an outstanding performer. Jorginho, Chelsea, Jorginho may not have added the Nations League title to the Euro 2020 and Champions League winners medals he already owns from this year, but he still looks well set for a podium finish in this year's Ballon d'Or race. It might not be a popular decision if he places in the top three, but voters put more stock in trophies than maybe they should. Robert Lewandowski, Bayern Munich, Lionel Messi, Paris Saint-Germain, if there were any doubts over whether Messi's slow start to life at PSG could affect his Ballon d'Or chances, he made sure to shut them down with his outrageous effort against Man City before the international break. Producing such a moment in such a eye-catching Champions League game will, in all likelihood, ensure a seventh prize for the legendary Argentine come December.